what's going on everybody i am the goods on youtube all right so i'm back again with another video this is not a modding video i'm talking about nba 2k21 here i'm expanding more on my idea um not my idea but just what i found in my last video where i spoke about 2k21 news and it possibly being a 2k world now i do know i did get some comments uh, a couple people you know um hit me up on different platforms but I do, I do understand that this 2K world thing, it could mean nothing at all, seeing as how this is just what's in 2K20. This file, uh, this file name is in 2K20. Um, could mean nothing at all, but I don't think it means nothing at all. Because it's just, it's just odd to me that it's not called neighborhood or 2k neighborhood or something like that um i did have someone tell me like the the file names have to be short or small or something like that that's not the case at all that is absolutely not the case because if you look at this screenshot that i'm showing you guys here um there's actually longer like longer strings of file names on here so i don't think that's the case at all but I do want to expand upon this idea about a 2K world because I do believe that this is something they've been working on for a little while. Um, but then it it hit me. Let's talk next gen. Let's talk next gen console gaming. Um, all right. I want to look at this real quick and I'm going to try and stay on subject as much as I can. PlayStation 5. And I, I will. I am planning to pre-order and get a PlayStation 5 maybe an xbox one we shall see i'm not sure about all that but we're gonna go over playstation 5 and xbox one so this article is is from march 24th okay all the way back in march and i feel like i kind of forgot this information but then i was thinking about it again playstation 5's ssd may revolutionize save states with instant launch now I don't know if you guys remember anything about this. If you guys have been following the next gen consoles that are about to come out later this year, then you may remember this stuff. Basically, what it is is you can, you know, save your game wherever you're at. You you can. It's not like uh, kind of like how this generation and last generation we had auto save, but we could only get to auto save during certain points of the game, like when we exit a game or enter a game. As far as 2K is concerned. Um, but what if you could save it at any point? What if you could save it while you're in the quote unquote neighborhood, you know, this generation's equivalent or to whatever they're going to have in 2K21. What if you could save it while you're in the neighborhood and then later come back right back to the same spot you were in, in the neighborhood. There's no need to spawn anywhere. So the instant, let me go back. What is it called? The the uh, instant launch feature, I guess is what it's called, for PS5, I believe theirs allows you to have a, <clears throat> excuse me, save even while you're in like an online game mode. Now for Xbox Series X, uh, I have to do more reading on it. I know they had this this feature quick resume which is basically their equivalent but i'm not sure if you can save while you're online and just quickly resume back to where you want to go but i did remember for at least for both of these offline for sure you'll be able to just boot right back up into whatever game mode you were in um at least for offline whatever game mode you were in whatever you were trying to do so right here on this article there's uh a video from xbox which i'm gonna have this video at, i'm gonna just tack it on to the end of this this video here so you guys can see it but as you see on this guy's screen he's stopping the game and switching right back to a different game as far as i know for xbox they're gonna allow you to do this with up to three games at a time so you'll be able to switch back and forth between three different games like look at this guy he's switching to another game and takes a quick second then the game is going to just load up to wherever he was so i don't know with xbox series x if you'll be able to do that online or just for like offline 
but I believe Sony's patent allows you to do it online. Um, I got a couple articles up here where I'm just kind of reading more about it. But yeah, so how this pertains to having a 2K world is that you okay, everybody's everybody's talking about Ronnie right now. How he's basically let me see if I can find a video. Um, everybody was saying something about Ronnie confirms no affiliations. So let's see. I'm going to type that in. Ronnie 2K affiliations. So right now there's a bunch of videos. Ronnie 2K confirms that park affiliations will not be coming back for 2K21. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but basically what I got from watching Ronnie speak about that was the the park system the affiliation system just allowed things to be separated so much that people weren't really able to just um come and go as they please because you had to be like a certain rep to to go to another park and when they first started it you could only play with players of your same affiliation so to me they don't want to do it like that um a lot of people keep saying because of money in a sense, I think it would be because of money, because you can't have everybody seeing the same ads. You're kind of splitting up the user base. They don't want to do that. They want it to be more like one seamless experience. So if you can come and go as you please in and out of a game, this is where we get back to the save states, the instant save states. Um, if you can come and go as you please, at least online, in whatever the the neighborhood equivalent that's coming to us, if you could come and go as you please, then you're not really splitting up the user base. They're all still there, but they're just going to different parts of the, I guess, quote unquote, 2K world. Maybe so. Maybe that's what we're getting because this I had to I was really trying to rack my brain thinking like, OK, if we're getting multiple outdoor environments, if we're getting that then how are they going to incorporate that? How can they do that without having like an affiliation type system? So I don't think they want to go back to affiliations where you get a boost for this and a, a boost for being over here and a boost for being over there. And then your boost is taken away if you leave. Um, I think that's how it worked before. I don't know, because I always just played in the same park. So that's how it was. But they want you to travel and roam everywhere. They want you to go everywhere they want you to walk around all the time so you can see their ads so that they can um so also it's kind of i don't know i don't think they want you to waste time but when you're spending time walking around you're spending time observing your environment and if there's ads in your environment they're making an impression and that's good for their partners every impression that they can get that's good for their partners so if they have like a real world i, I First of all, anything with 2K is not going to be real world in terms of online. But if they have like their version of a 2K world um, where you're walking around in the city, let's just think like you can go from the 2K18 neighborhood to the 2K19 slash 2K20 neighborhood just by walking back and forth without a cut scene. Kind of like when they go to the um, what is that called? The cages it's more like a cutscene. you're not actually walking over there yourself well i guess you kind of are but whatever but you would be doing it like legit walking to and from each place and you could save and then you could save switch to another game or just leave and then when you come back to 2k then you will be right back wherever you left off so if you left off at this one park um you know, if you left off at this one court, then when you come back, you just automatically spawn there. I mean, I don't even know if it would be considered spawning because with these new um, consoles, to my knowledge, you just load right back. I guess it is kind of spawning. You just load right back into wherever you left off. But this this quick resume stuff is going to be. I think that's going to play a big role in this whatever this park or neighborhood or 2k world whatever this is i think 
it's going to have something to do with instant save states where you can just load in and out of wherever you want to be. So like if you if you exit the game and you were in the shoe store or you were in the NBA store, when you come back, you'll be right there. And, and also with these new games, um, with the new architecture of the new gen consoles, I believe. At least for PlayStation, I believe I have to go back and find it that they like separate parts of the games into packages so that let's say you don't have to load up my you don't have to load up you know the the main menu just to go to to park or the 2k world or whatever it's going to be called you don't have to load up the main menus just to go there i believe i remember seeing something like that where they have it in packages so if you just want to go straight to the park as soon as you turn on your console you can go straight to the park if you want to go straight into a My Career game, you can go straight to a My Career game. I believe that is what um, the next gen console. I have to find these videos, man. I'm not good at making these type of videos because I mostly rant, so I'm not really trying to put together, you know, a, a great video for you guys to watch and and see what I'm saying. But I, hopefully, you guys kind of get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here and put this one right here at the end so i'm just let's keep thinking outside the box another thing we need to be looking for is who was 2k working with for this year's my career story is there a my career story if there is a my career story as that we just have to go based off precedent uh for right now because we don't know much but there has there were my career stories uh for the last several games this entire generation so I can only assume there'll be another my career story. Hopefully it's nothing like 2K18. But if they really sat down, got writers, then we should be trying to figure out, okay, well, who was working with 2K? Which which film writers were working with 2K? Which production company? Uh, was there any production companies working with 2K? Kind of like how last year they had, uh, they did the whole thing with LeBron and Mav Carter. Like, who's working with 2K? That may give us our next clues about what's coming. It's not all just about, um, you know, who's the cover athlete, who's not. I like this part of the season, the kind of hype season, just because I like to look at how they are marketing the game and what will be revealed, how it's revealed, and what it ultimately means for the game. I just like marketing in general, so I'm interested in this. At the end of the day, none of this marketing... It's going to have that big of an impact on gameplay. The marketing aspect and the gameplay aspect for me are just totally separate. So when I see them trying to sell me something, I don't really I, I'm interested in. OK, how are they revealing this to me? But I don't really worry about the gameplay until I get the game in hand, because at the end of the day, like I, I, I can just get a refund if I don't like it. So anyway, I'm starting to rant too much. Um, yeah, so let's let's get up. Let's get out of here. I have uh, other videos, 2K21, other stuff I need to make a video for. But uh, that has been the talking 2K for the day. All right.